slow cooking, smoking, braising, and baking. I'm gonna come on over here because it's awesome. This is it. You can actually set a dial and cook while you're doing something else. You set a dial, walk away, and get fall off the bone meats or big, huge cuts. And what we're wa wanting from this is that amazing wood flavor that you get when you are not using some other form of grilling. And this is Greg Shockley, he's a chef, so we're gonna talk about this Hi guys. for an hour. Nice yes. to see you, my friend. Good to see you too. So Traeger is known by all kind of the grill masters yeah. for being the wood pellet grilling system. That's right. Why is that different? And what's the flavor that we get by doing this instead of using the other alternatives? You know, the reason the Traeger has been so popular over the past 30 years that mm -hmm. we've been bringing these here is the fact that you're cooking over real wood. You're getting that great natural wood flavor, kind of the way they did it a long time ago. Yes. And you get that real rich flavor. It brings out the best of everything that you're gonna cook. It's so easy, mm -hmm. literally set it and forget it. And we're gonna talk about how simple it is and why I say that, yeah. but then think about it. Propane, natural gas, and even charcoal, they don't add any flavor to your food. Mm -hmm. And that's the method that a lot of us wind up using. Right. So once people try the Traeger for the first time, they realize how great their food they can be. They didn't realize how good of cooks they were mm -hmm. until they tried the Traeger. They make everyone happy and they want to create and try to you know, experiment with all kinds of different stuff. Right, because once you have the capability of doing all sorts of things, right, all of a sudden you get really experimental. Yeah, now I'm into it, right? Right, you're, now you're into it. So we've got two colors, you know, you're in between yeah. ones. So we have the graphite, the graphite here, right here, as well as the cinnamon. Cinnamon. But we get a lot with this. Can you walk through yeah. what we're actually getting with this? Absolutely. Okay. So over here, you're going to get two 20 pound bags of yep. each of these mesquite pellets. Yep. And and the cherry pellets. Now mm -hmm. we've got 10 different flavors, but today's offer is giving you one of each of these great flavors that you can choose from. So Love this heat's like, you know, that real different and distinct flavor. You're going to get the cookbook. Yeah. You're going to get this wonderful cover. Yeah. Now I've got a bunch of these girls and the cover is key. Mm -hmm. Depending on where you live, it doesn't matter. Right. And then here's the unit itself. 16 gauge cold rolled steel. So this is a sturdy machine. I mean, listen to that. Yeah. This thing is going to last you a lifetime. Now, really quickly, we're going to go into a couple different ways about how you use this, but I want to just kind of show how sure. simple it is. First of all, don't be mistaken, you're cooking over real wood, 100%. All that heat comes from real wood, okay. but a couple of the features of the grill require some power. Plug it into any normal household outlet. You're done. Okay. These wood pellets, here's these natural wood pellets. This happens to be the mesquite right here. And is that 100% wood? It's 100% natural okay. wood, yep. it's compressed. Mm -hmm. And what we do, you fill up your hopper. This is kind of the home for the pellets. We're right. gonna stick it in there. Sure. And then deep down in the bottom there, there's an auger, which is kind of a corkscrew, which is gonna kind of corkscrew all of those wood pellets mm -hmm. into a fire pot where the fire is going to start. Great. Now, because this is, a, oh, here we go, right mm -hmm. here. There's the wood pellets going into the hopper. We're gonna load that up. We're gonna set our digital thermostat. Remember, this is a smart machine. The thermostat is gonna to talk to the auger to tell it how many pellets should go in there. So from low smoking, all the way up to that 450 like you saw for your high grilling. Now there's the auger at work, feeding those pellets into the fire pot so you're creating real fire. So if you're smoking at a lower temperature, it's gonna add fewer pellets. So you get that, you know, a lot of smoke ah, at low temperature, but yep. for grilling, it's gonna add them in quicker. So you get a high temperature heat with that high flame. Now you see the circulating, um, there's a convection fan in here and it circulates all of that smoke and all of that heat around your food to the point where you don't even need to turn your food. It'll cook it nice and evenly without even flipping it. Okay, so you can cook your food on both sides. Did you hear that? And because it is like a convection oven, you can bake in here and we're gonna show you that later as well. I gotta share with you, it is under $660. It's $659.98 and six easy payments of $110. And we're um, looking at the dial, so continue that. But I just want you to know, while your mouth is watering, we've got a great price. Right. Now here's, this is the key too, in my opinion. This, was, this is really part of the reason why we can just kind of set what we want and forget it. Literally walk away for six or seven hours mm -hmm. and not have to worry about it. Because if I want to smoke my pork shoulders, I'm going to set this to on the smoke setting or to about 180 right here. Great. I'm going to walk away and, and I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about it because this is going to maintain the constant temperature of wherever we wind up setting it. Okay. Then let's go into the inside right here. We're going to open this up. You see a nice upper rack. This gives you a lot more square square inches to add extra food. Now, one of the keys, and I know you and I were talking about mm -hmm. that, underneath here is where the fire pot is. 
but you see that stainless steel pan right there? Yep. That captures any juices or any grease or any fat that's coming off of your food. It's gonna filter all the way down there, and then if you can get a shot over there, you're gonna see there's a drip bucket right there. What that allows you to do is to walk away and not worry about any flare-ups or your food burning. We're now, gonna continue on with a deeper dive of this, but I do go. wanna share with you food, glorious food. Six easy payments of $110. Shipping and handling has been reduced. Shipping and handling was $95.72. And well worth it because the grill itself and the smoker that you receive is 110 pounds. So that seems like a regular price to pay to ship something like that. We've reduced shipping and handling by $85 and change to bring it down to under $10. The comparable retail on this is $836.96. We're 170, almost $177 less than that. And you're gonna get the capability and the ability to grill, roast, slow cook, smoke, braise, and bake, and Look at the results. I can't, I can't wait to taste this. I got I've been eating all that. Yeah, right there love it. Yep. And you know what? Smaller even, bite, loving. I don't like to put any seasoning on the food for the first time that you're going to try this because I want you to know what a New York strip steak tastes like when oh it's my cooked gosh. over mesquite. Real mesquite wood, it gives infuses that great flavor. That great? I just have to say, it tastes delicious. I'm usually somebody who puts so, all sorts of steak sauce on something. Don't need to do that. Didn't need anything. It was really flavorful and I tasted the woodsy mesquite. Right. Mm -hmm. hey, yeah. Now, you Yummy. hear that noise right there? I'm that's having our, another bite. That's our convection fan. Yum. Now the convection fan is a really key part portion of this too because what that does, and you can see the smoke kind of circulating mm -hmm. around here, the convection fan is pushing that smoke all the way around here, but what it also is doing, it's pushing the heat in an even distribution. And notice, this steak from top to bottom, unlike if you, you know, compare this to your grill that you do at home. You're usually going to have a portion that's you know overcooked on this side, right. and a little more rare on this side, unless you're flipping it perfectly. These steaks, the chicken, the fish, you don't even need to turn them if you don't want to, because they're going to cook nice and evenly, because that convection fan is going to allow you to. They're do cooking so. on both sides. You're not turning them. You come and put the meat out here and leave it. Set the temperature and leave it. Is that right? Do you ever make dry chicken before? Oh my gosh, yes, I have. More times than not, probably a lot of us yep. have. Yep. Look at the results that you get with the Traeger. Beautifully evenly cooked, tender and juicy and it's got that great flavor that it picked up from the mesquite. You know, the Traeger, you said, has been here for about five years or so. That's right. uh, it's one of those brands that so many people go to QVC.com and buy, like, on the stealth. Like, we don't even know that. We have, <laughs> we have presentations of the Traeger, um, not necessarily so frequently, and a lot of people go to QVC.com, they see it, and they go, oh, my gosh, you guys have Traeger? Yeah, we do. Six easy payments of $110. The reason we're doing it now is, first of all, we just had the Super Bowl. Uh, that's a place that people gather, but we're about to go into like the gathering season. Yeah. So you got to get your grill game going. You got to make sure that you've got the grill that you really want. And anybody who knows grilling or you know that person who loves to grill, they want the best of the best. And they want capability and they want like nimble, uh, a nimble attitude with their grill. And this is a grill and a smoker. And think about how much you would pay for a grill alone. And then you're like, oh, honey, I'm going to go out and buy you a smoker too. And you buy a smoker. You actually get both of those. In fact, this is a six and one for $110 on an easy pay. Oh, and let me mention special financing. Let me whip out the cue card because if you pick this up on your QVC credit card, you have the ability of putting this on something that we call special financing. You will pay absolutely no interest if you pay in full within the nine month promotional time period. So that just means you still get it now. You have a longer time frame to pay for it perfect and we welcome you if you don't have your cue card get a cue card and get it tonight because when you do when you pick up something we'll actually shoot you a $15 statement credit so that actually expires at the end of tonight so PS and by the way that's just a little extra kiss right. if you want to be a part of the cue card nation that you said earlier, a yeah. lot of people have a grill and then they go out and buy, buy a, a smoker, smoker, right? Yeah. So most smokers, you wind up having to change the wood and babysit the wood and make sure the temperature is right so you're yeah. not burning your food so that it's not too cold, not too hot. Well, that Traeger takes all that guesswork out of there for I you. Love it. Remember, you set this, you forget it, you walk away. Now, look at this. This is absolutely loaded with some amazing things. We have okay, a pork what are these cuts? Here. Whoa, okay. No, this is a pork shoulder. Okay. You will be a professional pit master without doing any work whatsoever. Ever, I love I it. I promise you. So we have a pork shoulder, three huge baby back ribs right here. Whoa! A pork belly, 
which is one of my favorites in the world. And then we've got a prime rib up here. So we've got a prime rib over here and so in here. That's a lot of real it's, estate. What's the cooking surface in it's here? 562 square inches. Whoa. But this is, I mean, yeah, this is probably, if I had to guess, 40 pounds worth of food. I was going to say enough okay. to feed like lots and An lots army. of people. Yeah, now, exactly. And, oh my God, he's got to use his fingers because it's fingers falling off the together. bone. Now this is the result that pe most people first look at. Is it going to fall off the bone? Is it going to be tender? Is it going to be juicy? This is professional results. You ask any pit master out there, the key is to pull that bone out clean yep. and you've done it right. Now take a look at this step. I'm going to pull this apart just <gasps> simply with some tongs. I'm going to pull it apart. And that's the flavor you want. That's the result you want. And when you dig into this, and again, lightly seasoned, let, let the wood do all of the work. This has been cooking for eight hours. It is juicy, melt in your mouth, amazing flavor. You got to use your fingers. Just use your do fingers. You, you're like, I, you go in here. But here's what you're not doing. You're not using propane. You're not using uh, natural gas. Nope. And you're not using charcoal. Nope. So uh, what you're using is you're using these wood pellets. So right. I'm taking, uh-huh. And Rachel, as simple as this, we got mm. this thing going. We mm. got the smoke setting going. Okay. We loaded it up. We closed it. And we came back six hours. Look, and this is the result. That's so scandalous. You told me to use my fingers, and now I'm right, in there. check these ribs and out, now guys. Now I'm dining. Look at this. I can barely get them off. I'm going to get you some a spatula mm. there. But look at this. Again. Whoa. Clean, clean bones right off of there. Baby back ribs that just pull apart. Oh, my gosh. Effortlessly. Full flavor. And all the juices. It's not dry. If you cook ribs in your oven or you cook it on that smoker that's going to not, you know, maintain a perfect temperature, you're going to be guessing all the time and you're probably not going to get great results. Okay, now I need to put my fingers on that. Okay. Okay, there's so nice here's the thing. There's a nice piece of rib right there. you get right that there. bark? Again, yes. the, other, the other things Ooh, that hot. the pit masters and the barbecue people out there, yep. they're looking for that bark. That's that car caramelization mm -hmm. outside on the, on the um, meat right here. That's what you want to mm, get. Okay. They just Did you think, could you think oh, you could cook really one of these normally in any other case? If Did I you said, put a rub on it, these or anything? Yeah, we put a little salt and pepper and some basic seasoning on there, but all the flavors coming from that great wood. Full, robust, super tasty, and wow. And wow. Half the country, right, your temperature is fine, so you want this right now. The other half might be a little cold. You still want this right now, right? Because... As Greg Shockley said, and by the way, he is a chef, and you've been coming here for, did you say 15 years? Uh-huh. Yeah, and with Traeger for five, five years? Five years we've been here, For yeah. five years. Um, you set that temperature-wise, and then you go back in the house, and you're nice and warm. And then you come out, and your food is cooked, deliciously, I might add. And you didn't use propane, and you didn't use charcoal, and you didn't use natural gas. All you're using, and what you're getting is that wonderful, nice, smoky flavor from the wood pellets. That's right. Yeah. You know, speaking of that, let's show the wood pellets. What are we here. making over here? Let's show them at work right here. We're going to open up that. But look, okay. remember again, here's the hopper. Yeah. Here's kind of the home for the for the wood pellets right here that we've got loaded up. This happens to be the cherry wood that we have right in here. We still get that loaded up. It's doing all the work. Yeah. We're going to close this up and let's see what we have in here. Remember, we've grilled. Now we've smoked over there, wow. and now we're doing kind of our slow roast, and we've got some really wonderful items on here. A brisket, something that typically is really difficult to cook because it's actually got two different cuts. Again, it falls right off. Watch the juiciness and the flavor. You're gonna cut this against the grain. And I can't stress enough, the results that you get would make any pit master jealous that they could do this. Beautifully juicy. Look at that. This is a smart grill slash smoker. But remember, um, I, I keep saying it's a six in one. Will you remind us of all the things that yeah. we can do so we've grilled. when we're cooking with this? Right, we've grilled, yeah. we've smoked, yep. we've slow cooked. Then you're going to bake, you can um, broil it or barbecue, and you can braise. Okay, so you can do any, anything you want. And all you're doing is basically just changing the temperature in which you're cooking. This is a holiday prime rib. Whoa. Seasoned up professional results once again now let's carve into this and just see what we got you're gonna see that look this is at gonna that be, look at that that's prime look rib. at how beautifully that done that is prime yep. rib at yep. its best but now you're doing it you're serving your family 
allowing, look at the, notice right around here, you have a little bit of that smoke ring, but the evenness of cooking is the result that you're gonna be able to get, which you normally wouldn't get from any other grill. And that's because the air is circulating the air around. The circulating yep. around, it's getting that nice crust on the outside here, but it really allows that nice even cooking. We didn't mess with this at all. We left this, it still was kind of plastered to this, to the grate right here. Right. I didn't touch it, I didn't turn it, I didn't do a thing other than just, you know, check the temperature of it once in a while to make sure the internal